Hey, how are you doing this morning? Uh, so uh, we've done linear regression, we've done exponential regression. Uh, wanted to show you quickly how MathCAD manages polynomial regression. Uh, and so I've set this up very similar to the last couple of videos. Uh, I've read in my data from Excel. So you see the data read Excel function there. The data is just displayed and I have parsed that data into X and Y individual arrays. So X is equal to the first column of the data array y is equal to the second column of the data array. And now we're gonna go through and look at the poly uh, regression uh, functions and see how we can't use them. So I'm displaying the data. You see the data up here, it's kind of a, a bit of a mess. Uh, and that's just using the chart component. And now I wanna go through and do it. So I'm gonna set this up as a function of the order so I can manipulate it all together. So I'm gonna come up with a variable going to define it as the order. We'll start at one. And now I'm going to do my poly. And I'm going to set it equal to uh, the variable poly. And we're going to use poly fit. So poly fit is found in the design of experiments. You can see them down here, poly fit and poly fit C. So we're going to start with poly fit. And it will establish a function. Now it needs three parameters as inputs. So the first thing it needs is the X data. The second one is the Y data. And the second one is the order that you would like it to fit. And so because I've set it up separately, I'm just gonna put it in as the variable order. And there we go. So this will go ahead and this is actually, uh, a function so it's not like we saw before where it's giving you coefficients that you then have to put into a function it's actually a function so i can show you that so let's open this up and so i've got x already set up as my range uh, so math and so what do we have we have oh, capital p poly at range And we can close that now. And so you see it's tried to do a first order fit. And of course, if I change that order to two, it's gonna do a second order fit and whatnot. Now, I wanted to show you, before we get carried away here, go down here, get the fit data. So uh, the poly fit C function will give you a lot of the statistical analysis associated with that regression. And so what we're going to do is we're going to set up another e, uh, variable, call it eval uh, is equal to, so we're going to do poly fit C functions, design of experiments, poly fit C, and again, X, Y, and the order. And we don't need this last one, so I'll delete it and set it there and then we can just show the results and so what you see in the results and this is kind of nice the way this all works out and then now you'll see why I put my order up as a separate thing and, and so what we have is the function displayed and now we see the term so the coefficients for example uh, so you have your intercept here, 3.268 times 10 to the third, and the next one down in the coefficients would be the coefficient of the first term. Uh, so your mx plus b would be your m uh, term. And now if I change the order, say to two, and we see this, and so it adds an extra line, and so we get the extra coefficient if I change that up to a third order polynomial, and now we're actually closing in on what is the best fit for the data that we have. And you can see the coefficients and everything laid out down below. I'll just give some more space so it's not on top. Now you do get a whole bunch of statistical uh, values that you can use to evaluate whether you've got a good fit or not. And this isn't a course in statistics, so I'm not going to get into that. I'll leave you uh, that to... Uh, to understand so that you're using it appropriately. Just wanted to show you how to access it. So there we go. We've got a fairly easy to do polynomial fit to a series of data that we brought in and all of the data. So there you go. Hopefully that's helpful to you. Uh, polynomial fit 
uh, lots of times where you might need to use that. So uh, have fun.